If someone you love is depressed, it might be tempting to ask them how they are doing, how they are feeling. But if you know them and you know that they're depressed and this isn't a one-off thing, asking the person who's depressed how they're feeling on any sort of consistent basis is a terrible idea for the person who is depressed. And quite frankly, it probably isn't a great idea for you either because you're going to get the same response most of the time. Speaking for the person who is depressed, I'm no longer depressed, but once was being reminded via the question, how are you feeling? How are you doing that you are not well and that you are seeing the world through a gray lens and that you can't experience joy and pleasure anymore is a terrible, terrible thing. I, when I was depressed, knew I was depressed. I was diagnosed as depressed. I was experiencing the apathy and the melancholy and the lack of ability to experience comfort and pleasure every day, and I was hopeless. People knew I was depressed after I had been depressed for a while. When they would ask me every single day, how are you feeling today? It really drew me even more inward to the acute reality that I still wasn't better. I still didn't feel good. I still wasn't excited for my day. I still didn't have any hope for my life. What I wish people had done instead of asking me how I was feeling on a day-to-day -day basis was just ask me about my day. What are you up to today? What will you do today? These sort of questions, although only a little bit different, can create a wildly different experience for the person who's depressed. Because now we're just focused on something actionable, something practical in that space for that day. And it's better because even when I was depressed, I usually had structure. If you're depressed, by the way, and watching this, find structure. It really, really helps. But in that structure, I could discuss it and I could reflect on it. And it might even get me outside of myself. So what have you been up to today? What will you do today? What's something you've done today? Keep the person who's depressed in their day. Ask them about their day. Stay away from, in my opinion, asking them how they are feeling. It, it really goes a long way if the plan is to support this person for the long haul. I started to, anecdotally, I started to avoid seeing certain people who were seeing me on a consistent basis because I knew they were just going to say, how are we feeling today? And I think it came from a really good place, but it didn't feel good to hear. So this is just a small video encouraging you, if you're supporting someone who's depressed, to ask them what they're up to today, what their plans are today and not ask them how they're specifically feeling today. If they are feeling better, you'll know. You'll be able to see it. I wouldn't even acknowledge it if you did notice it necessarily, but you'll, you'll be able to tell. And if you don't know much about depression, I encourage you to research some of the basics enough to know that if someone you love is depressed, they might be depressed for quite some time. And if someone you know is depressed, they might be aware of that. So this is a marathon mindset and you need to stay mentally strong for the person you're supporting who's depressed as well. And one of the best ways to do that is to not personalize the fact that they're depressed, keep yourself as healthy as you can, and focus more on pragmatic topics and things we can discuss that don't have to do with an abject realization that the person doesn't feel good. These are just my thoughts. This is just a small tip from a depression survivor who was in a treatment resistant depression for about 14 to 18 months, I would say, before I really started to feel better. That's a long, long time. And if the person who's depressed has never been depressed before, you don't want to overwhelm them with that sort of reality and you don't want them to be overly connected to how they're feeling any more than they already are. I share this with respect. I share this with as much humility as I know to muster. It's not easy being depressed. It's not easy loving or caring for someone who's depressed. Do your best just to ask them simple practical questions to create conversation if you're going to see them on a regular basis so that they don't have to constantly revolve their thoughts around the fact that they're thinking poorly, feeling poorly, and that they're probably never going to get better, which is usually what we think when we're depressed. 
Let me know if this has worked for you. If you have any other feedback or suggestions for chatting with someone who's depressed on a consistent basis, what do you do instead? How do you stay away from the constant rumination about the abject emotions going on in the depressed person? Uh, I think this sort of message would have been really useful for a lot of people that were doing their best to support me when I didn't feel good. My name is Noah. We'll see you guys in the next video.